Hey guys, and welcome to another episode of Quantum Break. We just arrived at the Brad's uh, Bur Bradbury swimming pool. Um, so my brother William had a key to something in this place. So we're checking it out now. We're with a taxi driver and I believe, yeah, Beth. Um, ooh, something. What? What is this? His taxi? No, I keep I keep pressing Y, and I just press hey, Nick, X. This looks a lot like your taxi. Can't be. I parked it way back at the. Holy shit! That's my goddamn license plate. How the hell did it get here? I don't know. Oh. I have a feeling somebody beat us here. Well, no shit, because they had the key as well, and it had the this name of where it's for. Some kind of message. Think, Nick. Think. Zero one one two two. Zero one one two two. Numbers. Teleport. Oh, what's Galaxies. this? Why would I need to go back, though? Oh. Okay, but I feel like I came here too early because I feel like I'm supposed to be doing something at the front of the place first, but... Oh, well. Now we're climbing up and breaking into the place because apparently the front door doesn't work. Hey! I think I found a way in. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> I didn't even know that we couldn't get in the front door. Well, now I do. So I guess I'll let the other guys in. Okay, got it. I have a theory how my taxi ended up here. Someone drove it. Oh, God, don't scare me. This isn't a horror game. Damn it. These stutters aren't going away. Oh. Am I in a basement now? Did I go too far down? I hope I didn't just like fall somewhere we'll now. We'll use the building to hide away his personal items. Plants. No wonder you are always coming up with crazy shit. Like plants. You owned this place since 1999? Why didn't you tell me, Will? Okay, May 17th, 1998. This Twelve thousand dollar move ago. The first animal test of the machine. Must have hauled a lot more to this place than just some old boxes. Schrodinger, in order, he's gone. What the hell were you doing here, brother? Shit. Time travel experiments with rats? Come on, Schrodinger. Come to Willie. Come on, come on, come on. You're okay. You're all right. You're all right. Okay, finally, we're sending Schrodinger into the machine clockwise through the corridor, which will send him five minutes into the future, meaning he will reemerge exactly five minutes after he enters the machine. It has now been three minutes. No sign of Schrodinger. This is a very good sign. Two minutes to go. Okay, so, yeah, turns out he just kind of sat inside the corridor <laughs> for... Five minutes took a shit on the tubing. This reveals a very clear flaw in my test. My mouse is an idiot. No shit, it's a mouse. No offense, mouse. Okay, the machine is warming up again. Oh. Should be able to activate test number. I thought it was done. Around about five minutes and fifteen seconds. It's now clear the only quantifiable test will be travel to the past. The machine is now calibrated to send Schrodinger five minutes into the past, which means that he will now be traveling counterclockwise through the corridor, and when he comes out the other... Holy shit. Holy shit, it worked. This, this is clear proof that it's... Uh, what, I'm, what I'm now looking at is a future version of the same mouse that has successfully traveled five minutes into the past. Schrodinger, me, future you. <laughs> is it done okay now we'll go let the others in <laughs> this is a weird swimming pool so far i haven't seen a pool and, and we're back this is bobby oh, with the latest we got an official state of Arnock solutions in it's just what you'd expect really you know your typical slick mealy mouth bullshit i was just ready as far as 
Uh, oh, no, we're not jumping the railing. Yes, yes, stop knocking. I have realized now that the doors are locked because I accidentally went through any wrong door. Working on it. There, I followed you. <laughs> All right, let's take a look around. That's on the other side. Down here. Is that about time? Not blood. <laughs> and don't even with about time. This whole game is about time. <laughs> Oh, there it is. TV. This note. Best play it. At me. No shit. July 4th, 2010. Well. Beth Wilder, I'm addressing this video to you. You told me to stay away from my workshop, but I couldn't just leave it there. I went back to get it. And the entire place is a disaster zone. The countermeasure, gone. Taken. Oh, shit. What the... Safe. Empty. Just need to know you have it. Because if it falls into the wrong hands, its power is immeasurable. Our future, our entire lives depend on it. This can't all be for nothing. You know where to find me. Please. On the grave? <laughs> 2010. Holy shit. What was that? It was a video. You recorded that for me in 2010? What the fuck? They said the countermeasure's gone? It's not good. We need to figure this out. Let's keep looking. But what about this door? There's another door. Why am I, like, crawling everywhere? Okay, fine. Not that door. I'll follow Beth as the game instructed. I should be listening. Okay. To the gents' room. Help me push this out of the way. The the door? <laughs> you mean just open the door, not push it out of the way? Jack, your brother addressed that video to me. But I've never met him before in my life. Well, it sounded like he thought you had his countermeasure. I wish, but he said it was stolen on July 4th, 2010. Somebody the 4th took of it. July. <laughs> oh. But I'm hoping this place will help us figure out who. I'll give you the honor of pressing the button. Yay! Thank you. So he's got like another time machine in the pool, or what? Is that? Yeah, I think so. Well, the one that was from Ground Zero moved here. Oh. Second time machine. This changes everything. If we can get this thing working, then we don't need that countermeasure. We can change everything. But what if we stop the fracture from ever happening in the first place? We can go back to yesterday, undo everything in the past before it happens. Nobody dies. Paul doesn't go through the machine. Monarch never exists. I mean, the fracture never occurs. Jack, wait. Let's think this through. That's not how it... I can go into the machine like Paul did at the university. I helped them set it up. Then we activate the core, put the corridor in place, and set the date. I can do it, Beth. I'm not so sure we can do this without the countermeasure. But you're right. We'll need the machine. Right. Let's start with the core. I know enough about time travel. Oh, shit! I know. I'm trying to talk. Just I saw some kind of visions of this machine in his workshop. He must have hit it here. What is this? A goddamn spaceship? Oh, you dumbass. Okay, core controls. Where are they? The schematics for the countermeasure spanned 11 years, 1999 to 2010. In itself, that wasn't strange. But the guy built a working time machine in two. OK, 
Okay, this one I'm slowly reading, but you guys should definitely read. Um, okay. When did he write this? He wrote this in 2016. Okay. Wait. Isn't it July right now? And isn't this email from October 8th, 2016? If it's July 2016, then isn't he dead? Or I don't know what today's date is. I think it was July. Wait. Yeah, in this email, it's saying July 6th. Oh, now it's saying 2011. So these are old ass. So what's in the top then? Is that just the current date then? Okay, um, what was I saying? Anyways, the whole thing is, we can't change anything. Whatever's happened, happened. If, like, if we were able to go back in time and stop Paul from doing that, then that me would not continue to go forward and eventually come to this place and go back in time and stop Paul from doing it. Thus, Paul would go into the time machine and cause this whole stuff to happen, and thus I'd go back in time. And it just creates a loop that doesn't complete itself. Uh, AKA a paradox. So y you can't change the past. It doesn't work because if you change something in the past, then that prevents the past you from going to the past to prevent said action from happening, thus causing it to happen, and thus causing you to go back again, fix it, and just keeps looping and looping and doesn't work. The corridor. It's key activated. Will's key. It says the time machine core needs to be reset. Great. What the hell's it look like? A round thing in the middle. <laughs> Think. How the hell do they keep this all a secret? Why does my camera keep just suddenly moving? These schematics are all in Will's writing. He did all of this. Built everything. If he had a time machine, oh. Aware of its existence shortly after it was completed. In 1999. 1999. They believe it was destroyed shortly after. I imagine Will wanted to keep it that way. Why is this one computer like purple? Uh, hey, there's a the thing. I can't activate the core till it's reset. Okay. Hey, Nick. What the hell am I looking at? Time machine. The time machine. Fuck off. That was that was totally my second guess. We can't let our cruelty. Do not post any signs of the time machine. <laughs> yeah, I'm not an idiot. Really? Of course I'm gonna take need to find a way to reset the core first. Just don't post the selfies. Uh, okay. I'm assuming that thing's the core, but do I need B? I guess that's probably the lower level. Why don't I just... There we go. Hey, look. There's where I need to go. Can I just jump down there? Nope. I have to walk all the way back. I would just, like, fall down here. Yay! Ow. Hi. You said Will built a countermeasure. What makes you so sure this isn't it? The time machine. He said the counter because we was saw stolen. it. We saw him make it. It was and a tiny little thing. Oh, and that's a good point as well. Hey, it looks like I can reset the core from here. Are you sure you know what you're doing there? No clue. But I, I did help Paul set up the machine at the university, which then caused the fracture. <laughs> that's a good point. Look, Will knew the calculations were wrong. I'm hoping that means he knew what he was doing here. This is what Will is leading us to. We have to test it. The core. That's what we set up first. So I'm gonna get to go back in time. This could actually be the key to finding the countermeasure. We'll see. It's still resetting. The core is reset. We need to act. 
Here goes nothing. It hasn't done the like black hole thing yet. There we go. What was that? It's fine. It's fine. And then there's two more black squares, so that means other it things. Worked. It actually worked. Okay. We activate the corridor next. Oh, Jesus, look at that thing go. Am I supposed to do something? Okay. Thank God. Whoa! Did you guys see that? Will's key did that? Yeah. Key to a time machine, and he left it in a trunk of his goddamn car. <laughs> <laughs> That's my brother in a nutshell. What am I missing now? There's still two blacks and red squares. Okay, now there's. Wait. That didn't sound good. Fuck. Let's just hope it still works. Uh, what am I missing now? Is that, oh, this one? Okay. No, 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 no. What? God damn it. Don't, don't hit know. the computer. I'm gonna try it again. Yeah, like hell you are. You saw what happened. Something's wrong with the machine. Well, we don't know that. You're not trained for this. Anything you do is gonna make it worse. We you can't know I'm right. Stop trying. You lost people. You're angry. I get it. I want to go back in time. This is bigger than us. We can't fix the machine. But I might know somebody who can. Will? Sophia Amaral. Oh, the doctor? The monarch scientist. I saw her video near Ground Zero. Serene's had a crone in research. She'll be at the Monarch Gala tonight, but security's airtight. She'll be nearly impossible to get to. Unless I have an invite. Paul told me he expected me to meet him at that party. Something tells me that was not a friendly invitation. Jack, no. Oh, hey, we're going to the gala. They realize I could, like, can stop time, so pointing guns at me really doesn't really do much. Oh, and of act two. The future used to be so clear when I was reliving the past. Once I caught up to the moment I had left, that ended. All I've had to go on since then are the plan and the visions. I knew Jack would come to me. I'd seen that. But I didn't know why exactly. Or how it would end. There is. You were right. My visions of the future aren't always clear, but they don't lie. Speaking of lies, Joyce is saying he's discovered his brother's time machine. We've spent 17 years looking for it, and he finds it in less than a day? It does sound unlikely. Still, we know it's out there somewhere, and we don't know what his brother managed to tell him. If he really has located the machine, why would he come here and tell you? Smart Money says he's trying to play you. Maybe, but the machine is out there. It's in our interest to find out where. And if Jack knows, I have to talk to him. Oh, I'm going to play as him again. Oh, this could be weird Dr. interacting Joyce with my own character. The answer to that question. William's attitude and knowledge made him a liability. Is that angry young man going to cooperate any more than his brother did? You remember Jack as a close friend, but that clouds your judgment. Don't I'm going to go read my emails. It's not. <laughs> but don't forget why we're here tonight. After what happened, our people need reassurance that we're in control. You're the man who could win them over. Let me handle Joyce, so you can concentrate on your speech. I know what's at stake here, Martin. Dr. Sophia Amaral had taken over our Cronon Research Department after Dr. Kim's accident. She was the only one who could treat the Cronon Syndrome.
So something happened to the previous doctor. That's what got Sophia in charge. Mr. Joyce I'm not. Is for us down I don't know exactly what, but okay. Yay! Got all the narratives for this episode. Okay, cool. <laughs> this act. Oh my god, this is gonna be so weird. Hey me! I was you a moment ago, and now I'm me. Yeah. <gasps> There's another thing. There's a bag. And a car. What's in the bag? What are these doing here? We should be set up by now. It's all on schedule. You're micromanaging again. We There's should another go. bag there. We are going. I'm gonna go talk to myself. And here you are. I had to see the lifestyles of the sick and traitorous up close and personal. And it was such a nice invitation. I'm so mean. How do you want to deal with this, Paul? Oh, man. Because it's like, I could just... Well, I'm assuming not kill me right now, but... Paul, what should we do about Joyce? No, I'm, tr I'm trying to press Y. There we go. I could still try to reach Jack and make him see reason. Or I could let Hatch deal with him so nothing would distract me from leading Monarch. Hold the show personal. I once trusted Jack more than anybody. It was my only chance to make him understand the truth. The fuck do you mean nobody got a look at the shooter? But without me there to give the speech, my empire would start to crumble like a house of cards. Or business. I believe that with hope comes miscalculation. And as you and I went away, Mr. Joyce, with miscalculation can often come a catastrophe. And that leaves me with you, Mr. Joyce. But my old friend would be a lost cause, dead and buried along with the rest of my past. Tonight is a celebration, a celebration in the face of darkness. Tonight we celebrate because I promise to you that we are prepared. Monarch would grow stronger with my presence. The plan would go forward as intended. See, I'm conflicted here because he has been to the past. He has put a lot of work into whatever his plan is. We don't know his plan yet. And I have this feeling that Paul is trying to do good, but he's taking, like, the moral gray ground or something. So we're seeing, like, he was trying not to kill Will. He was wanting not to kill Will, but he had to in order to get to his thing. Just as Will, at the beginning of the, uh, the video, was willing to kill Paul to get what Will needed to have done. They both seem to have done some time traveling, I believe, and know something that obviously I do not. Now the question is, do I want Mon Monarch to be successful or not? That is literally what I'm choosing here. And if his plan is right, then do I want him to be successful? Well, I'm playing, yeah, I'm playing as Paul, so I'm going to choose business because I need, I'm going to play as though I am him and not like I'm Jack wanting him to fail. So... Yeah, choose choice. Bigger fish to fry. We didn't come this far to get derailed now. You talk to him, find out what he knows. Then get rid of him. You're all heart money bags. I know you want to make this all about you and me, Jack. But that's far away in the past now. And I have a speech to prepare for. To be fair, though, didn't Paul say that he went, they would talk more at the thing, and then I choose not to talk to him? I've seen where this leads. I've been to the end of time, and I've escaped it all the way to 1999, when it all started. I've tried to change things, but by trying, I only made them happen in the first place. Yep. 
because you can't change the past. Whatever happened, happened. So whatever this choice was pretty much 50-50. So. More people want to talk to Jack. I chose not to. Anyways, I believe this is where this episode will end because I think now it's going to go on to the actual episode cutscene again. So we're going to end this episode here. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys with another video tomorrow, uh, shortly, soon, whatever. Um, goodbye. Also, um, I will include the cutscene. I'm going to record that right after this. And it will be uploaded at the same time as this video. So I'll see. You can go ahead and watch that right after this one if you'd like. Bye.